Arduino coin video. Firstly, before we start, I really appreciate the support that you guys have gave me on my previous Arduino coin videos, so thank you very much for that. Today, I'll be doing a video focusing on how to set up Arduino coin mining on a Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi that I'll, I'll be using today is the Raspberry Pi 3B. You can use any Raspberry Pi that you currently have. And the operating system is Raspbian, which I'm using, but I know that people have used the Raspbian Lite as well. Firstly, you will need to check your Python 3 version. And upon running this command, I can see that my Python version is 2.7.9, which is going to be fine. If you haven't downloaded the latest version of Python 3, as well as added pip to your path, uh, I will show the command on screen, which you can do that. And after that is done, I always like to do a quick update as well as an upgrade on my Raspberry Pi before downloading anything. Okay, so after doing the sudo apt get update and upgrade, it looks like there's nothing new to install or to remove and we can continue on. So after that is done, after you have Python 3 as well as pip added to your path, you will now clone the GitHub repository for Arduino coin. And you can do this by executing this command. All the commands that I will show you in this video will be put in the description box below. Alright, so now that the repository have been cloned and all of the relevant files have been downloaded, we can go into that folder by doing this command. And you will see that all the files have actually been downloaded right over here. So this will be useful because from here you'll be able to change the configuration files. For example, if you want to change a port on the AVR miner, and now that we've accessed the folder containing um, all of the Arduino Con files, we can now access the PC miner by doing this command. When I first started, this could not work because I did not have the latest version of Python 3 in installed onto my Raspberry Pi, so make sure you do that first. Now I can just run this command and the setup prompt should appear. I'll type in my Arduino coin username, my mining intensity, it says it's recommended 95%, so I'll just go with that. And the mining threads for my system is four, it's recommended. And since I'm mining on a Raspberry Pi, I'll set my difficulty to one. And do you want to add an identifier to this rig? It's optional, I'll just add no. And set developer donation level, recommended is one. Um, this is your choice as well, it's optional. If you feel like the CPU on your computer is being too overloaded after you have ran the donation, this developer donation over here, you can change it to zero. But if not, I'm just going to set it to one. And there you go, PC mining has started. And you can see over here in the latest update that I'm using, 2.56, you can see that right now it is connected to this pool. And with this update, the pools really helped take the load off the server. So effectively, that ensures that there's going to be less problems with the main server and everything will run more smoother with this new update. And there we go. We can see the accepted shares coming in and the hash rate as well as the difficulty and the ping to the Duino coin server. Additionally, we can now set up AVR mining. So what I like to do is open a new terminal with the same procedure, go into the Duino coin folder and now execute this command. With all commands, make sure you get them all 
exactly right because they are case sensitive. And once again, the setup of prompt appears. I can enter my Arduino coin username. And right now I have one Arduino board connected, which is going to be on this port. So I would just write down the port name. And since I don't have another board connected, I'll just say no. And this is an optional identifier, I'll say no as well. And this is just the developer donation level. I'll just put one. And there we go. AVR mining has started. And with AVR mining, the pools, also known as the nodes, aren't going to be used. Currently, PC mining is only on the um, pools. But for AVR mining, it's still on the main server as of today. And here we see accepted shares coming in. And this is the standard hash rate with this latest update, 195 hashes per second. Uh, the typical difficulty of six and the normal ping that I receive. And many people have asked what they can do to actually bring up that setup prompt again for AVR mining or PC mining if they want to actually add more boards once they have expanded their mining farm. And what you can do is to go into the Dunacone folder and to go onto the AVR mining folder, the AVR miner folder, and to get that set up a prompt once again after you have opened the AVR miner, you can actually delete the config file. And when you restart the AVR miner, the setup prompt will reappear once again. Alternatively, you can simply just edit this and you can change your donation level, the port for more boards, the language, the identifier, etc. And this applies to PC mining as well. So here we have it, AVR mining and PC mining. Um, and it all works successfully on the Raspberry Pi. If you have any problems, if you have any questions, suggestions, or any other comments, please feel free to put it in the comment section below. And to end this video, I would like to give a shout out to Everbot. One of my friends is a developer of this project. And Everbot is a Discord bot that pings your website in intervals, for example, of five minutes, to ensure that your website stays online 24-7. And Everbot works with Revlet free websites and doesn't let your website go offline. And Everbot also supports premium URLs, which promises 99.9% .9 uptime. And of course, it includes faster support. And in their Discord server, the support guild has many channels to talk about and to discuss and explore about Everbot. And it even includes booster rewards, which give you premium URLs. You can also create a support ticket over there at any time and your issue will be handled accordingly. And you can invite the bot from the link provided in the description as well as through their website over here. And additionally, you can also join the Discord server which the invite will be put in the description box and you can also join it through their website over here. With that said, I will also be doing a giveaway of three premium URLs. So if you're interested in using this bot, make sure to just leave a comment um, stating that you are interested in taking part of the giveaway by saying something like, I want premium. And in three days, I will announce three winners and you may get a chance to win three free premium URLs. So thank you very much for all of the support you have been giving me on my previous videos and hope you enjoyed this video.